Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to return back to Norway and take a look at one of their Arctic, Arctic, Norway. Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to turn to Norway and take a look at a Norwegian Arctic field ration. Now this particular one is reindeer stew. I've never tried reindeer before, so it'd be interesting to find out what that tastes like. So, let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So, as you can see, and I have here on the table, this Norwegian Arctic field ration. And this particular menu is the reindeer stew. I don't know if you can focus on that. It'd be interesting. I've never eaten uh, reindeer. Uh, it's got a best before date of 28th of the 5th, 21. So it's just a couple of months to go, but it should still all be good. Now these, as we've seen before now, just come in a very simplistic, simplistic green plastic bag. And they usually have a corner, which is where you open them. So let's see if I can find that tear open corner. There it is. So there's just a little corner there that you can pull. Now these are usually freeze dried meals. Okay, so we'll just move that to one side and see what I've actually got in this pack. So we have a nice little packet of just simply raisins. There is, I think, what is, is the um, hot chocolate, a drinking chocolate. We have a Colombian freeze dried instant coffee, polder mill. There is a, an alcohol disinfecting swab or wipe. We have the mains, which is the reindeer stew, and it's freeze dried. Let's put that to one side there, make sure I can get them all on the table. We have some Nut Walker barbecue peanuts. There is a real cranberry protein bar we also have an energy drink this one is with a taste of lemon so a lemon flavored energy drink so I'll slot that down there of course the standard spoon there is a little packet of uh, chewing gum peppermint and there is also a Ziploc bag, obviously, for putting in the rubbish or the spare food items. So, nice impressive set of contents. These are the contents of this Norwegian Arctic Field Ration, the reindeer stew menu. So let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, I now have this Norwegian Arctic Field Ration laid out on the tray. And I'm going to start first off with the main meal, because this is free dried and needs a little bit of preparation. So this one is the reindeer stew. It has a best before date of 05 2025, so a very long best before date. And it's simply fill to the fill lines with some boiling water or hot water. So we'll get this started. It needs approximately 8 to 10 minutes to rehydrate and do its thing. So opening that up as a very compressed, I can say a lot of meat in there, a lot of dried compressed meat. Full to the top. Let's just get this broken up a little bit so that water can get amongst it. Never tried reindeer. Um, I'm assuming it's just venison like any other, but nice big flakes of meat there and we'll see if we can carefully fill it up to the required line taking care not to overfill that's just let's see if we can get that open a bit more it seems to be well and truly to the top of the packet I think that's somewhere near it's very difficult to tell Let's get that massaged about. No, a bit more now. 
Okay, we'll give that a stir. I think we're just going to need to keep adding to our best guess with this one. It doesn't seem to be going down very easily. But I'll just keep going till the whole thing just looks moistened to the bottom, get to the bottom of that pouch there. That still looks a little bit dry, I'm going to add a bit more. All you can do is your best guess in some of these instances. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. I can always come back and add a little more. You can never take it away. So before, before I go too far with it, I'll just have one last final look there. We'll just seal that up and leave it the approximate 10 minutes to do its thing. That all sealed up. Okay, mind the kettle out of the way. So, while that's doing its thing, I think we should take a look at the other things that need a bit of preparation. We have the um, energy drink with a taste of lemon. Now, these ones usually stick inside the packet, and so it says you fill to the fill line, seal, and shake. So, I'm going to do that this time. Um, I normally empty it straight into the glass. It looks like the packet is slightly open, I need to just do this over the bin. Okay, as you can see, it's a very clumpy um, beverage base powder, so I am going to mix it in the pouch, bring in some fresh water, and again taking care not to overfill. Let's just have a look where that fill line is, so it's just up there. 300 deciliters, sorry, three deciliters, that's 300 ml of water it's calling for. That's not far off the line. So we'll give that a seal. And I've got a funny feeling this is not going to go to plan because I don't think that seal is working properly. But we'll just see what we can do with it. Good old mix. see there most of that looks like it's mixed up now we'll just pull that into the glass having spilt it everywhere already getting in a mess a bit of a tidy up okay so we'll look at we have a cough um, a drinking chocolate and a plain black coffee, you no know, sugar, no whitener. So for me, the obvious thing to do with this is to make a mocha. Um, I'm not a fan of this polder milk, um, Colombian freeze dried coffee. I've had them in other rations. I don't find them particularly good quality coffees, but last time I mixed one with the chocolate, they both came to life. So first off, just normal plain drinking chocolate. drinking chocolate there and I'm going to have to bring in the trusty MRE spoon because I've got reindeer stew all over there and I'm going to make the chocolate up first to have a little taste and then I will add the coffee so let's just make the chocolate up first there put that to one side and we'll keep going around the tray. We have some Nut Walker barbecue peanuts. Now, nicely vacuum sealed. Nice hiss on opening, always a good sign. For some unknown reason, everything in this pack seems to be at the top. So as you open it, it spills all out. Let's just get that vacuum pack open a bit better. Determined to make a mess today and we'll empty just a few of those out we don't need the whole packet there's a good portion still in there that's plenty just to demonstration demonstration purposes 
to one side. We also have some plain simple raisins. So again there's a tear strip there. I think I'm going to bring in one of my trusty old friends just to help a little. And we shall pour in a few of the raisins into the tray there. And again huge packet, lots more than what's in there, just that's plenty for demonstration. Still going, still going. We'll have a look at the cranberry protein bar, 28% protein, so high protein content for a cereal bar. Very sticky, very soft, chewy. Let's just get that out of the packet. Very sticky, like a honey coating. Leave that to one side there. Keep getting in a mess. And I think we've had about four or five minutes now, so we'll just give this stew another little bit of a mix in, make sure everything is getting down to the powders in the bottom. Right down to that bottom best you can, and we'll reseal that. Okay, so while we're waiting for that reindeer stew to have its last couple of minutes, we shall start off, I think, with the the lemon drink. So again, I think there's a little bit less lemon there, water in there than required. So nice and strong. Overly sweet, does need a little bit more water. Always difficult to measure in those bags. Much prefer a glass. Let's give that a, a bit of a mix there. So back to, back to the lemon energy drink. Mm. Much better, much refreshing. Not overly coloured. Nice artificial lemon flavour. It is artificial, but it's nicely done. It's a nice quality lemon flavour. Very much remind to you of a cold remedy, lem sip, which is lemon and paracetamols. We normally have with hot water here in the UK when you've got a cold or flu. Um, there is a similar taste into that. Or if you've not had that, a, a, like a lemon um, hard candy, a lemon um, boiled sweet. Nice, refreshing, tasty lemony drink. We'll have a look at the drinking chocolate. First of all, we'll try it on its own. Mm. Nice, smooth, rich chocolate. Not overly sweet. For the um, for drinking chocolate, which is normally sweet, it's not overly sugared, um, but it is a good quality chocolate. Mm. Certainly doesn't need the coffee adding, but I'm going to do it now because it's here. Polder Mill, not a personal fan of the Polder Mill coffee, had it so many times before now, but mixed with chocolate, I think it's the best thing you can do with the Polder Mill coffees, you've still got a hot, warm, comforting drink, but a little bit more exciting, a little bit more flavoursome, mm. and again, that is the best way. It's the best way I found to use those polder mill coffees. Mix it with the chocolate and it enhances both to make a good, comforting, flavoursome drink. Okay, so we've had about eight minutes. So let's just have a look how this reindeer stew's doing. Now it's looking like it's rehydrating. I'm going to bring in a bowl, just again for demonstration so you can see. And we'll just empty the contents of this reindeer stew into the bowl. So there's lots of meat in there. Let's try and scoop all of it out. Don't like waste. Do enjoy these meals. This is a little bit early for lunch, so we'll call it brunch between breakfast and lunch. So it's going to form for my brunch meal. I deliberately don't eat breakfast when I'm doing one of these so that I've got room for the huge meal there. So I think we'll go straight to the reindeer stew. So 
So you can see it's mashed potatoes, I can see sweet corn, lots of meat, um, one or two other little vegetables, might be carrot, lots of the meat, reindeer, meat, just give it a bit of a good old mix, make sure we're all mixed in. So, a bit of everything there, a bit of the meat, a bit of the potato, let's have a taste. Mashed potato consistency, um, instant mash, salt, pepper, um, a gravy, so it's like a, a beef bouillon type gravy in there. The meat just tastes like beef. You wouldn't know it's reindeer. Um, it just feels like beef in your mouth, like you're eating beef. But it's nice, comforting, rehydrated well. The meat's got a little bit of chewiness to it. Mashed but mush potato, carrots, sweet corn, deer meat, and like a beef bully on a beef gravy mixed in with it. Very tasty, very enjoyable, very nice, comforting meal. Certainly doesn't need anything else added to that, and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy finishing that after this review. Mouth cleanser. Now, we'll start looking at the barbecue peanuts, nut walker, um, seen many times before. Personally, I said they're more like a dry roasted peanut with salt. I find it difficult to describe this as barbecue. It's certainly not like a liquid barbecue sauce that you might put on ribs or steak. There is a honey, baked honey flavour and some spices, but still enjoyable, tasty, crispy, crunchy. I always find that difficult to call barbecue when I think of ribs or barbecue style sauces that you put on steaks. But still, tasty, crispy, crunchy, good quality nuts. A little bit of fruit in the form of raisins. I'm just going to refresh my palate again. That's a nice refreshing palate cleanser. Um, looking a little bit dry, a little bit well, well wizened. But it is dried fruit, dried raisins. That's exactly what it tastes like. I would say slightly passionate its best. A little bit on the drier side, could be a bit moister, but certainly nothing at all wrong with those. Look at this bamboo cereal bar. Sticky, soft, not crunchy. Mm. Sweet. Very sweet. Very tasty. Sticky. A lot of energy. It says taste the real energy. You can tell there's energy in that. Most of it will come from the sugar content, the sweet bit. It does make a nice, energy rich, sweet sort of after dinner bit of pudding. I'm going to save the gum till last. I've had these before. Um, there's two little briquettes in there because I want to eat and enjoy the reindeer stew. But there's two little peppermint gum. Good quality again, usually. Um, slightly firm rubber, rubbery gum but the flavour lasts well just a standard peppermint gum which most people are familiar with but a good quality one now I am getting sticky have a look at this wet nap it's dripping I had to move it to one side it says 70% ethanol so 70% I don't know if you can read that there it's a 70% alcohol wipe a lot of these are alcohol free but that one 70% ethanol I think these are pretty much surgical wipes. Um, I've seen them used in first aid boxes. They're soaked in alcohol. Proper antibacterial. You know alcohol is a good antibac. Killing those germs, killing those bugs. Nice and wet. Not the strongest, but certainly moist, wet. That alcohol smell which you trust, you do know 
you do know you're getting clean hands when you can smell that good quality wet nap and being alcohol dry with no after smell so quick recap coffee so the chocolate nice quality smooth not overly sweet add the polder mill coffee and you've got a very nice enjoyable mocha mm. good way of combining them both the lemon energy drink crisp fresh refreshing not overly colored not overly um, processed you don't get the impression it's just chemical 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 um, but it's a nice nicely done refreshing lemony drink the reindeer stew mashed potatoes um, carrots sweet corn the meat tastes more like beef it's very difficult to tell it's venison or any other type of meat um, because there's like a beef bullion or a beef stock cube in there but that makes it very tasty very flavoursome very sticky on your ribs but a good tasty enjoyable filling meal the raisins slightly past the best I think they're slightly dry um, would have been better a year or so ago, but still perfectly edible. Nothing wrong with them. Um, just typical raisins you find around the world. The Nutwalker peanuts. Cool barbecue. Like I've said, for me I find that difficult to call that flavour barbecue. I'd call it more of a honey, a spiced honey. So there's a sweetened, roasted, little background taste of honey there. And a few um, peppery spices. Not a barbecue flavouring I would associate as barbecue, but still a very pleasant, enjoyable, crunchy nut. And the cranberry cereal bar, energy bar. Sticky, sweet, tasty, enjoyable. You know there's energy in there, you can just taste it with all the sugar. So certainly going to give you an energy boost when you need it most. Now, overall, again, a very enjoyable, very tasty, nice meal. Certainly one I would have again, and I am going to finish this as soon as I turn the camera off. It's got a very nice, enjoyable mains. So I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you, and goodbye.